When Trump ran in 2016, it was like a joke. This buffoon running for president. No, never could happen. We'd forgotten the lessons of history that showed us other clowns who weren't taken seriously until they became vicious dictators. With Trump, we have a second chance. And no one is laughing now. This is the time to stop him by voting him out once and for all. We don't want to wake up after the election saying, what, again? My God, what the hell have we done? <clears throat> we can't have that happen again. I don't mean to scare you. No, no, wait, maybe I do mean to scare you. If Trump returns to the White House, you can kiss these freedoms goodbye that we all take for granted. And elections, forget about it. That's over. That's done. If he gets in, I can tell you right now, he will never leave. He will never leave. You know that. He will never leave. Do we want him running this country and saying, I'm not leaving, I'm dictator for life? I hope this new ad campaign, campaign reaches outside the bubble to remind supporters of what a danger he is to our lives. This is not a threat. This is a reality. And that's why I've joined the Biden-Harris campaign, because the only way to preserve our freedoms and hold on to our humanity is to vote for Joe Biden for president. I'm just one representative of the hundreds of police officers that were assaulted that day by Donald Trump supporters, inspired by his lies. The lies that continue to this day to inspire my fellow Americans to turn against their fellow Americans, to turn against police officers. <clears throat> At the end of the, the day, this election is about Donald Trump and his vision for the office of the President of the United States, not as a public servant who answers to the elected, to the people who elected him, but as an authoritarian who answers to and serves only himself. The fight for a lot of us didn't end on January 6th, that evening when we went home. The fight still continues now. What happened that day was an attempt to halt, to overthrow uh, an election. Donald Trump is the greatest threat to our democracy and the safety of communities across the country today. He has encouraged and continued to encourage political violence. We've been called traitors just today. We were all called traitors on January 6th for doing our job. And yes, we protected Republicans. We protected Democrats alike. It's not about the story that we don't agree with. Political violence is never acceptable. But you have a presidential candidate, you have a presidential candidate that champions it, that encourages it, that supports it. We cannot have that. Americans need to wake up. This is not a drill. Mr. Nero said he's not trying to scare you. When I, I just unsuccessfully ran for office. A lot of people that I met out there said they were afraid. They're scared to see what another Trump presidency looks like. I try to pride myself in having some type of way to make people feel comfortable, saying some kind of a, a word, a, a, a hug, a look, or something. It's going to be OK. I couldn't say that to those individuals. I couldn't say it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. We can't count on these institutions to stop Donald Trump. It's going to take us Americans at the ballot box to defeat him once and for all. After months of saying the politics had nothing to do with this trial, they showed up and made a campaign event out of a lower Manhattan trial day for President Trump. In fact, Biden's cronies had a printed out campaign sign saying Biden-Harris. So why the change? Why is Joe Biden now making this a campaign event after months of weaponizing the legal system against President Trump? Because Joe Biden's numbers are in the tank and the best that Biden can do is roll out a washed up actor. And don't worry, my remarks will be shorter than the Irishman. I won't make you suffer for three hours, but the best they can do is roll out a washed up actor.